Oh my God, it still stinks. <laughs> I did not do well here. This is the gym. Even surrounded by 3,000 nerds, I still couldn't succeed uh, athletically. That's, that's very sad. This was our fertility pole, this golden thing. And um, we would just dance around here. <laughs> Stuyvesant High School, I think, originally was a like a technical school for young, um, sort of, I guess, not too rich New Yorkers who wanted to learn the trades. Eventually, it became known as a science and math magnet school with a ginormously foreign-born population. Look at all these immigrants. Ooh, hello. Hey, <laughs> honorable mention? Just honorable? <laughs> That's not good enough. Somewhere an immigrant parent is beating her daughter. This building sucked. I mean, it was, um, it was really like something out of Call It Sleep, like Henry Roth. Uh, it was a real tenement. So when I was here, it was, first of all, we didn't, the school budget did not allow for stall doors. You know, you'd walk by and some dude, some big fat nerd dude would be taking the mother of all dumps. And it would be just unbelievable. But. I wouldn't have traded it for anything. I certainly would not have traded it for the new building, which is, you know, looks like, uh, you know, uh, a back office for Bear Stearns. This building was also situated right next to the East Village. I can't even tell you. I mean, the East Village, of course, back then was a whole different, you know, a whole different game. Tompkins Square Park was still Tompkins Square Park. But for me, my experience as a human being, in some ways, begins in this in this little patch of land. Did I know Frank McCourt when I was here? No. This is the story of my life. I got here the year, I think, that he retired. Stuyvesant opened my horizons. It, it, it gave me a little bit of ethics that I never had before. And when I entered it, like all Soviet Jews, I was this rabid Republican, and I just wanted to, to you know, bomb poor people into submission. But by the time I got out of here and went to Oberlin, I thought, wow, I really want to be one of those poor people. And that's what happened. That's who I became.